You know, we spent many days saying the David Hashem Oy Revi Shimi And I was thinking, I was learning the Navi, the Navi Shmua. It's Kadai. Sometimes you read the Navi Shmua, especially the Lumager says it's easy reading and it's so inspiring and so many lessons. So right when I was about to finish saying the David Hashem Oy finishing the days of the beautiful days of Sukkot, I'm learning in the Midrash. It says that the source for the David Hashem Oyri Ve'ishim, when did David HaMelech comp- compose this beautiful tilm, something that's so powerful, so many powerful words and messages. So, shockingly, it's based on a small story, almost insignificant to some degree. Most people don't know about the war that David HaMelech had with the Plishtim in Siklag. Right? I'm assuming anyone that listen, listen, listening, unless you learned it recently, it doesn't even... Tziklag, Plishtim, Davin... Yes, when David Melech was on the run, running away from Shalom Melech, David Melech had this war with the people in Tziklag. It was actually after a tragedy, another challenge, as if David Melech didn't have enough challenge in his, in his life. He went to help, pretend that he's helping Achish, the king of, of Gaza, the Plishtim, fight against Amalek and other, other neighbors. And when he came back, his entire family, wives, kids, were kidnapped. So he had to go after, run after the kidnappers and try to get back his wives and kids. Can you imagine? And then what happens is he has this miracle. He fights against this group of people, but it's nighttime. Now, usually you can't fight at night. It's not like today where you have lights. There was no lights. Hashem made a miracle. And there was lights, there was lightning that allowed David Melch to be able to see, and only they were able to see and were able to attack and get their wives and kids back. And based on that, David Melch composed the David Hashem Oyerivi And I was thinking to myself, what an incredible chizek. So many times, people that are struggling with different addictions, with different challenges, Shmiras and Naim, whatever the challenge is, and we get sometimes so despondent, so depressed, so sad, so ready to give up. So why is Hashem putting us in this situation? Why do I need to deal with this? But you know, sometimes in the darkest of places, in the places where you think, this is what I need to go through right now, yet Hashem says, you know what? You could compose a whole Tehillim. You could come out, I don't mean to say that you have to be an author of Tehillim right now. You could sing to the Rebbein Shem, you could speak to the Rebbein Shem, you could create effects, everlasting effects, al yadei yodibu, al yadei through this challenge that who knows what effect it has in the future on other people. You daven from the place of darkness, please help the Jewish people redeem the Jewish people, this and this person is sick. You don't know what you're creating, worlds that we can't even imagine. And that I learned from David HaMelech. Look at David HaMelech, if there's anyone that's gone through so much trouble. And here, this war against sick, like that created the David HaShem Did he even know that how many people are going to be saying the David HaShem how many times, and it's going to be the highlight of our tefillahs to some degree through the many days of the Yom Yom and it's, what? You just don't know. And when you're in this situation and it looks like this is what I'm dealing with, plishtim, tziklag, wives and kids just got kidnapped, and yet that's a place where there could be so much light. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.